Now we're to the stage where we are going to sew the outer wraps together. We have our three pieces set in front of us. We're going to take the two pieces here and put good side to good side together. Make sure the outer fur is fur to fur and we make sure that it is nice and pushed down. Once they're matched up, you've inserted your leather needle size three with stripped piece of sinew. Pull it through. Leave a tail. Loop it around your other string that you pushed through and make a simple knot. Pull it once and then do it again. It's just like a shoestring tie. Two times is good. And then you're going to loop stitch the seams together. Now that you have it sewn across that seam, you're to the end and you just simply make a knot by looping it through, pull it firmly. Using a lighter is better than, you can cut it of course at first, but then using a lighter will seal the knot. And you have less chance of it working its way apart. Now you have a seam sewn and the pieces are together. You have one more step. You need to take the other end and add your extra danglies and you're going to use the same method of loop stitching to make this seam come together. Now that you have sewn the three pieces together and they are one, you can't even tell. And you have a beautiful set of otter wraps. Thank you for tuning in. Hope that this helps in your otter wrap making project in the future. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment and share. And be sure to like. Thank you from Raven Street Dance Studio.